Uh, Claire, why, I would like to dig a little bit deeper in terms of AI risk and governance and, and even geosecurity and ERP systems. What are the major risks and challenges organizations face or could face uh, when implementing AI in their ERP systems specifically, and how could they mitigate those? Well, from, from a security standpoint and geosecurity standpoint, I think, I think there are two big group of uh, considerations. One is to do with obviously cybersecurity. And if you speak to any uh, cyber experts, they would tell you that the current architecture that we have built for the past few decades is actually not fit for purpose. And uh, we have quite a significant risk on our hands. Uh, so that, that would be the, the cybersecurity uh, predicament of the current architecture, which companies need to pay very, very close attention to. Another layer of the same consideration, uh, cybersecurity consideration, uh, rests with the redefinition of cyber attacks since the launch of more yeah. advanced forms of large language models, which carry the possibility of finding their own way to, to break uh, encryption on their own and break code and make sure that you know they achieve the the optimization of their target if the target is set to break the security of say a bank or a large institution or even a small institution so this is the first group of consideration to look at so this is the cybersecurity the second big consideration is what i call the prerequisites for ai and under this group um, we have things like data. Uh, where do we get it? How do we maintain it? How do we clean it? Uh, what kind of data do we keep on? Some data is not wise to keep it on, primarily biometric data, for instance, that would be an example. So it's to do with your data strategy as an organization. And you need to have some very sound thinking behind designing your data strategy. So we are under the same uh, sort of group of prerequisites for AI. The second point under this group is to do with internet cables, communication cables. Um, it's, it's something which we never think about it. Uh, we take for granted the fact that we have broadband to our desks and we take for granted that we go shopping in a super mall and we swipe our cards and we paid or we swipe our iPhone and we've paid and we go about our lives. What we don't think about or we, we don't even consider because we take everything for granted, this level of connectivity, is the, the safety of internet cables, uh, which they connect continents and they run from different points, uh, land points to a different other points. So when these are severed, when they are attacked, when they are damaged, um, then we lose connectivity. So we can no longer have this call online. Uh, we can no longer have that Zoom call. We can no longer, as I said, record this podcast or go to a shopping mall and swipe that iPhone. Because without internet cables, all of the entire predicament of AI just stops. And it's something we, we need to think about. And I think these are big conversations. The internet cables are big conversations that probably rests a little bit in the, in the geopolitics uh, realm. And um, so big, big conversations to be had and being mindful. When it comes to internet connectivity and geosecurity, I think it's one needs to think about what is our disaster recovery plan? If something happens with our internet connectivity, what is our backup plan? How are we going to run operations? Where is our data going to be stored? Uh, do we have it safe? Is it on-prem? Is it on cloud? What happens if we can't access the cloud? So again, it's part of the uh, disaster recovery planning, and it's absolutely important to do it. And that would be the third point under the prerequisites for AI. We want to have this plan in place because we want to plan for the unthinkable because that's that makes a good sound uh, risk management, no? <laughs> Absolutely. 
Well, thanks for that. And, you know, I would certainly say that um, in terms of your data strategy and this idea of redefining cyber attacks and redefining what security looks like or will look like or needs to look like and really considering DR, uh, as you had mentioned, disaster recovery, you know, compliance, audit ability, uh, privacy, security, um, you know, all of that's going to be amplified. And, you know, of course, it's going to be a cat and mouse game again, like it always has been in terms of, you know, cybersecurity, right? But I, I think the whole game is just going to be amplified. And there's a lot there in the context of IT in general and and also in terms of ERP systems. 